Hi, we just finished meeting for pronunciation practice on Tuesday, January 24th, and we started with hyperbolic, hyperbolic, and lantern. This is an a, ah, so keep your lips back and your jaw very open. La, lantern, balloon. It looks like an A, ba, but it's not. It changes to ba, and that means it also gets shorter duration. Balloon, balloon. Moon, even it's a, even though it's a single syllable word, you can't make it too short. Like moon, it has to, you can, you have to be able to hear the vowel, moon. You don't have to be too long like a cow. Moon. <laughs> Just long enough that you can hear the vowel sound. Moon, moon. Fail and feel are part of a group of words where the first vowel ends with an E sound, so your tongue is put in a very high position. And then it comes down to make the L, which means it has to slide down and go back up behind your top teeth for an L. So that sliding and keeping your voice going makes it um, a Y, kind of a Y. You don't have to make it perfectly two syllables like fail or feel, just let your tongue slide down and kind of make two parts, fail. And the vowel is A, excuse me, A. And number seven, feel, feel. How does it feel to fail? <laughs> Sheep and ship. This is common uh, distinction, the same as sheet and shit. And sheet comes up a lot because of the word spreadsheet. So it could be very important to not say spreadsheet. Sheep is like eat and ship is like it. So remember the difference, the tiny difference between eat and it. Eat, your tongue is towards the front, very high and very tense. Eat, and you can feel the tension in, in your chin. <laughs> Your chin, I guess this is under your chin. E -i, e -i. When you say it, your tongue is moving down a little bit in the middle. It's just relaxing and the muscle in under your chin also relaxes. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. So you should feel tension, eat it, and not tension. And that's the, the difference you need for sheep, high tension, ship, lower. Sheep, ship. And the same for sheep. Shit. Spreadsheet. If it's a noun, it's conflict with an ah. Conflict. You don't really make a K or a T. Your tongue goes to the K position in the back. Flick. At the same time, your tongue is going up for the T. So it's kind of pressed against the roof of your mouth. Flick. And you're just stopping the airflow. Conflict. If it's the verb, the stress is on the second syllable, and now the C-O-N doesn't sound like ah, it sounds like uh, con, conflict. In the same position with your tongue high in the back for the K, pressed up against the top of the mouth for the T, and just hold it there, conflict. You will, you will hear the T if it's um, conflicting. Well, changes to a D, but conflicting. Conduct, the uh, noun, ka, conduct. And the same K-T combination, the back of the tongue goes up for the K, presses against the top of the mouth for the T, and just stops the airflow. Conduct. And if it's the verb, now the C-O-N sounds like con. So no ka, just con. Conduct. Conduct. Billiard. This usually has an S on it, so I don't know if somebody purposely wanted to hear just this word, but billiard billiard. Hold your tongue long enough in the L position that it can be heard before moving to the Y. Billiard. Worth and word are a good combination because they're both spelled with O but sound like E. They sound like E-R. Were. Like where were you? Worth. Worth. It's curled back, tongue's curled back for the R, forward for the TH, and keep air flowing the whole time. Worth. And number seven, uh, 16, back for the R and then the D. Word. Word. You will hear the D if there's a vowel after it. Word of the day. Word of. Bother. Bother. I, I made this TH bold because it's a voiced V. Same as th, like think, but th with airflow. I mean voicing. Th. Bother. Don't bother. Bothers. 
<laughs> the S is really a Z. Let me know if this bothers you. And now the Z and the Y can make a J. So you could hear, let me know if this bothers you. Bothers you. Difference between 19 and 20, launch, product launch, the vowel is ah. So the jaw is very open, the tongue is flat, ah, launch. And 20, the jaw is more high, the tongue is low in the middle, l, and pulled back, lunch. I'm going to take an early lunch. 19, launch, 20, lunch. 21, derivation, derivation. 22, derivative, derivative. 23, divination, divination. 24, flaccid or flaccid with a K. Oh, booths. <laughs> This THZ combination is difficult and it takes time. So most people avoid saying this word completely. Booths. Booths. Your tongue is going to be between the teeth with airflow for the TH. And then you have to pull it back in for the Z. But don't lose your airflow. Keep air going the whole time. Booths. Or booths. Voiceless. Booths. Voiced. Booths. I think the voiceless one is easier. Bot. Whether you say, I bought both of them, or a bot, short for robot, sound the same. Bot with an ah. 27, the same vowel. Taught, same ah, taught. And 28, robot. They both look like O's, but the first one is the only O, ro. And the second one is ah, robot. 29, penchant, penchant. And I, <laughs> when I looked it up to make sure I was pronouncing it right, they had this example sentence, a penchant for sitting by the window and staring moodily off into space. <laughs> that means a penchant is something somebody likes to do often. So that seemed funny to me. Pension. So very small difference. Number 29, you're stopping the airflow for a ch. Penchant. And 30, Pension with a sh, so you have a constant airflow. Here, don't forget the airflow for the H. So I'll make this a little bigger. There. The difference between 32 and 31 is the airflow for the H. So you need air with no sound, no h, but here, here, and 32, ear. You're going from a very high E position and sliding down and back for the R. Ear. 31. Hear. Ear. And 33. Year. This is so different. It's, it's a weird combination that doesn't happen in any other word, I think. And it's a very tiny difference. Your tongue is in a Y position, which is the same as an E position. Ye. It's going down a little bit and back up. Year. 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 Happy New Year. Um, I wouldn't say happy ears, but happy new ears. <laughs> Happy New Year, year. That's so hard to um, explain, but I hope I've helped a little bit. For 32, you're starting with an E, ear. 33, year, year, kind of ye, y e y ye, year. And we didn't get to these, I'm sorry, Olga. Work, walk, working, walking. So, um, same E, work, the vowel is er, like her, oh, walk, ah, uh, like ah, uh, work, like her, walking, ah, uh, and close, whether it's um, I'm wearing clothes or a close the door, forget the TH, it's just, and forget the S, because it just sounds like a Z, close. All right, that's it. Uh, thanks. It was fun if you were here. And if not, I hope you can join us sometime. Have a good day.